G'day. In today's video, I'm talking about passcode removal, or also iPhone unavailable, or iPhone disabled. If you're experiencing any of those three problems, potentially more, this is the solution that you're gonna to have to follow. To begin with though, I will talk about how is your phone unavailable or disabled. Typically you get that when your phone has been either attempted the passcode too many times because it's been forgotten. Someone may have typed it in. It might have butt dialed that passcode to try and unlock your phone. Or potentially you've got a cracked display on your screen. And with the cracked display on the screen, it's essentially sat there going like this every time the phone is turned on. Basically all three of those and potentially more will all result with the same thing needing to be done. What we're going to have to do is connect it up to iTunes and wipe it. I usually use a program called 3U Tools, but since iOS version 17.2, I found a lot of devices haven't been wanting to restore using the 3U Tools software, which is available for free. Um, but anyway, I'll be, in this particular video, I'll be showing you how to do it with iTunes. Anyway, that's what we're gonna do. What's gonna happen with your data? So before we begin, essentially if your phone is coming up as iPhone is disabled, iPhone is locked, or you just simply don't remember your passcode, sadly your information is already lost. If you're at that stage there, there's no software that I've come across, either paid for or free, that will remove that for you to be able to get in, into your phone one more time. What I'm hoping there is that you've got your data saved in a iCloud backup. So hopefully you know your Apple ID and the password to match it. And with that, you should hopefully be able to retrieve your information if it's been backed up prior to the phone becoming disabled. So basically what I'm meaning, that what I'm referring to there is once we've wiped the phone and go to the initial setup screen, I'll ask for your Apple ID password and, you, and username and password, enter them in. Hopefully from there, it will give you the option to restore from iCloud. Hopefully that is a most recent backup of your phone and you get your information back and away you go. Sadly though, if your information hasn't been saved to iCloud, that means that that information will potentially be lost and will be gone, or no, not potentially, is gone and is lost. So if we could do the restore from backup to wipe it, it will clear everything that was on there and anything that was saved on that phone will be now be gone. But basically I always put it down to it's already lost when it comes up as disabled or unavailable. Anyway, let's proceed to the computer. At the computer, we've got the iPhone. We have one of our data and sync cables, potentially a spare if it fails initially. But what I'm using here is a Type-C to Lightning, which I have Type-C on my laptop. So I'll plug that in now. If you have a USB-A cable, plug that into the laptop, plug it into the phone. We are also gonna to have to download iTunes. So you can do this in any particular order, but I'm gonna plug the cord in now. If we go to the iTunes website, I'll leave the link for the Windows version as that's what I've got on my laptop. So we'd go here, we'd click download. You can download it from the Microsoft Store as well. And we'll download it and install it from there. Once we've got that installed, if we go to the, well, once it's installed, download and installed, load it up, tell it to update, and we should have iTunes on the computer from there. Now we want to put this particular iPhone 11 Pro Max, or 11 Pro, into recovery mode. How do we do that? We should be able to have it on with the cord plugged in, press volume up, volume down, power, and just keep holding that. We're gonna hold this for probably around about 15 seconds, and then this should get this phone into recovery mode. So the screen has gone off. I'm just gonna keep holding it, cord still plugged in, Keep holding it and still keep holding that power button. I haven't not let it go yet until we see this particular screen that we're chasing, which would be this one here. So right now, I'm gonna leave the phone there. Put the camera at it for you guys. And on the PC side of things, I'm gonna go over here and click restore. If I tell it to update, it's gonna try and update the phone, it will update the phone, but it's still going to be disabled. It's not gonna give us another chance. So what we wanna do is go restore, and we wanna run an update. 
So this will remove all data and will be restored to factory settings with the latest iOS version installed. So I'm clicking restore and update. Now for me, I've already downloaded the particular update for this computer or for this iPhone. So I've, that saved me a little bit of time. But if you do require to download the update, do expect it to take anywhere from anywhere potentially from 20 minutes up to two hours, depending on your internet speed. It is around about a seven gig download. And if we look at the top of the screen here, we have extracting software. So we're just gonna let that extract. Once it's extracted once, if you turn to do the update again, it shouldn't have to do the extracting a second time, unless there's a newer version of the iOS software that comes out. So this restore process will potentially take anywhere from, I would say, anywhere from uh, 10 minutes up to 45 minutes, excluding the download of the initial software itself. And also, do if you, if you do come across any issues where you've tried to do the update, it's downloaded it, and from there it's tried to extract it, and then it's tried to push it to the phone, which is what we're going to see in a moment. If you encounter any dramas with that, I do recommend trying different USB ports on the phone or on the on the computer that you're using. If you have any other lightning cables around, do also try those. They may help you and may actually be able to rectify various problems. And as we see, we've got preparing iPhone for restore. And we will let it keep going from here. We should slowly get a progress bar on the phone itself. That will hopefully be it getting into recovery mode and receiving the update. There we go, waiting for iPhone. And as you see now, if I zoom you guys in, we now have a small progress bar on the iPhone itself. So this part here, if I have no issues at all, I'm gonna fast forward the footage. I will mute the footage. But when we're back, we should hopefully be at the next stage of this. Welcome to your new iPhone. Go back down here. We'll just wait for this to progress out, but from here you should basically be able to set up the phone once more. I'll leave it down here just to show you guys what it will do. But that's basically all for today's video. Bingo. I swipe up from here. We're at the initial setup screen. And it will eventually ask for your Apple ID which is expected, if you've, especially if there's already been one on the phone. I'm going to set up without another device. I'll tell it to connect to the store's internet. Go. And we'll see what it does at the next stage. There you go. iPhone partially set up. The iPhone was partially set up. This could affect the device. I'm not sure what the partial setup, this one's actually a new one to me. So I'm going to go continue with partial setup and see where we get up to. Go continue, set up myself, set up later. So right now, this doesn't look to have an Apple ID on here. There we go, transfer, don't transfer. There we go, so this one doesn't have an Apple ID. It was just a new phone that the person had gotten the password as they'd set it up. But from there, you should be able to enter your Apple ID and continue. If it has had an Apple ID in it before, it will be asking for it now, but it won't tell you it in full. So you will have to remember that. Anyway, I hope that helps with the restore and getting, or getting your iPhone slash iPad up and going once more. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.